Welcome to two pretty cool looking locks that were sent to me by the order of Don's Locks. He's an Australian lock collector and he orders locks from German websites. These locks get sent to my lock lab and once they are um, enough for a big package, I will send them to Australia. Uh, these are two locks that look very different, a pin tumbler design and a combination lock with three dials. But they have one common property that I want to point out in this video, which is precision or tolerances. The lack of precision or tolerances in mechanical objects makes it possible to decode locks. And uh, that's very obvious with these two examples. Um, this lock is um, a combination lock with three dials. You can imagine three cutouts on the shackle. And the tolerances make it easily possible to uh, decode this lock by pulling on the shackle. And now not these three dials are binding at the same time, but only one. And so we can decode one after the other. Let's see. Um, this one is binding heavily. It's really hard to turn. This one is binding not at all, it's, it's turning freely. This is also turning freely. So let's uh, work on this, which is currently binding. Click and shackle came out a little bit. So let's see, this one is, there is some resistance and yeah, they are binding probably equally, but I think this is binding more. So let's see. I got it and uh, shackle came out even more. And now it should be a matter of this dial only to get this lock open. So the lack of precision made this task very easy to decode this lock. And the same principle applies to this lock. Um, mechanical in, uh, inaccuracy makes it possible to um, pick this lock open. But first let's open it with a key very heavy lock, uh, but it's only locked on one side. Very simple construction, but pretty cool, as I think. Um, yeah, so let's decode, uh, let's pick it. I apply tension on the pin side and pick the pins with a, a DeForest Tough Diamond. So applying tension on the plug causes the pins to bind, but because of the tolerances not this not uh, all the pins are binding at the same time but only one after each other or maybe two or three at the same time with uh, different um, different uh, resistances but in this lock it's pretty obvious which is the first second and so on binder so I apply tension and I know from experience that the first you heard a click hopefully um, first pin is the first binder second, third, fourth is loose, so I advance to number five, got it, going back to four, I felt the plug to turn a little bit, so shouldn't be much, I <laughs> check the remaining pins when, when uh, coming back to the front and it was three or so and the uh, lock uh, is open, the plug turned open. So let's complete the turning and here we go, open. Yeah, Don't Lux, thank you very much for uh, allowing me to um, explore and pick and decode your locks. Uh, pretty cool stuff, pretty fun locks to pick and decode. Yeah, mechanical tolerances, uh, lack of precision, binding order. That was the topic of today's video. With these two amazing locks. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye bye.